February, March 2022, paper 2, variant 2. Question 1. Figure 1 shows how first ionization energy across period 2. And from here, we know that there are some irregularities. Later, we'll discuss about that. Okay, part A. Construct an equation to represent the first ionization energy of oxygen. Okay, so this one, you must start with a gaseous atom. Make sure you include the state symbol. Gases atom of oxygen. Do, do not put O2. It's just oxygen atom. And it's ionized to form oxygen with one positive charge. Okay, must be gases form. Release one electron. Okay, B1. State and explain the general trend in the first ionization energies across period 2. The general trend will be from lithium to neon. So it generally increases. So explain this general trend. Okay, very easy. When it's across period, so we know that the proton number increases and the inner electron shell actually they are the same means across the period the inner shell of all these elements they are the same that's why the shielding is almost constant shielding is mostly contributed by the inner electrons since they have the same inner electron uh, shells, so the shielding is almost constant. Right? Okay, that's the main concept when you want to explain the, the general trend. Okay, so first, IE increases across period as there is an increase in nuclear attraction for the valence electron. The increase in nuclear attraction because the proton's number increases. Right, so this one is the, the, the statement. So it's increased because of the attraction is greater. Okay, why the attraction is greater? Why this attraction is greater? Then you need to explain, like I told you just now. Across the period, the numbers of proton in the nucleus increases, but shielding of the outer electrons remain constant means the shielding that caused by the inner shell is constant almost the same shielding effects that's the reason why we have this uh, general increase proton increases the shielding almost constant okay part two explain why ionization energy a does not follow the general trend. Okay, this is the irregularities. So this one is group 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Uh, the new syllabus actually is group 1, 2, 13, 14, 15, 16. So between 15, group 15 and group 16, there is a, an irregularities. It's supposed to be higher, but it's actually lower. So explain this. A. Why is lower IE? Okay, it's very easy. Uh, because it's group 16, so it has six valence electrons. Uh, the electrons uh, arrangement in this uh, orbital diagram should uh, is look like this. Okay, so it's uh, two electrons in the S orbital and four electrons in the P orbitals. Okay, so there is a pair of electrons in the p orbital this we call spin pair spin pair and this pair of electrons is has repulsion and this repulsion the neck because these electrons they are negative negative charge negative and negative 
particles that have repulsion. And these effects we call spin pair repulsion. Because of this spin pair repulsion, the electrons release easier. So the electrons, once it's released easier, means it needs lesser energy. That's why the IE slightly decreases because the energy needed to remove this electron is easier now. Yeah, that's how you understand and explain later. Okay, very easy. You just need to mention there is a spin pair repulsion of electron in the 2p orbital because it's a period 2, right? It's 2p. Period 3 is 3p. And this spin pair repulsion okay, is over outweighs the increased nuclear charge. So that's why it's slightly decreased. Okay, element E in period, period 3 of the periodic table. Okay, the first 8 IE of the E in table 1.1. So this one, this ionization energy, they are all okay, from the same elements. Means the electrons is going to remove from E one by one. Okay, until okay, eight electrons removed. Okay, then we need to look for the big jump or the drastic increase in the IE. So we will know how many valence electrons there. Okay, so from first to second, Okay, is a small increase. Second to third, also small increase. But from third to fourth, is a big jump. From about 3k to 12k. So, this one, therefore, we know that it must have three valence electrons out there. Because these three electrons is relatively easier to remove. That's why it needs lesser IE. So, from this big jump, we know that it must be grouped 13 because it has three valence electron. Since we know that this one is period 3, so it must be this electron configuration. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. Uh, these are the three electrons that remove from here. 1, 2, 3. Right. So, because the four electrons is from the inner shell here, from this uh, second shell, that's why it needs more energy. Okay, explain. So, you just need to explain why. Uh, because there is a greatest jump or big jump between the third and the fourth, i.e., indicates there are three electrons in outer shell or three valence electrons. Okay, that's all for this question. Thank you.